Assalam o Alaikum dear students I hope you all are having a great week well this is Ms Aisha Baloch with another lecture of English literature you all might have read or heard about some fascinating mysterious places of the world today also we are going to learn about one such amazing historical place in the subcontinent yes the ancient Indus Valley civilization specifically the great city of Mohenjo-daro but before we talk about Mohenjo-daro let me give you a brief introduction of the Indus Valley civilization this civilization or the settlement is known to be the first one in the subcontinent the archaeologists think these small elementary settlements are from around 7000 BCE but little is known about the lifestyle and culture of the people the earliest traces of the human settlement were found at the present mehergar balochistan the civilization actually stretched from afghanistan to as far as the indian punjab let's now learn about mohenjo-daro the city is actually home to a mysteriously advanced ancient civilization some villagers had found some pieces of old broken pots they brought them to sir john marshall who was an english civil servant and the director general of the archaeological survey of india he studied those broken pieces and under his excavation campaign this amazing city of mohenjo-daro which itself was five times bigger than rome was discovered in 1922 it is located at 27 km from larkana on the right bank of the river indus in sindh the city is actually divided into two districts the citadel where the priests and the ruling class lived and the lower town which was the dwelling of the other people that is to say the farmers the traders and the merchants etc and let me add one thing here that mohenjo-daro is actually a title or a name given to the place by the archaeologists though the actual name of the city still remains unknown to talk about the lifestyle and culture of the people of mohenjo-daro it was quite a well-planned city having straight roads mud plastered houses having a bathroom and servant quarters close by the city had waste water covered drains and around 700 wells and a large central well which the civilization was famous for carts were used for transport and the roads were wide having a central marketplace and shops on both sides of the road which continued to the houses of the workmen the religion of the civilization was animism and polytheism which means they worshipped animals particularly a bull and also idols and they were ruled by priests it was the first city around 2500 bce to have a great bath used for some religious ritual purpose and there was a great assembly hall too used for storing grains and also for assembly purpose during religious ceremonies people were farmers as it was an agricultural city having its own well-planned irrigation system traders since river indus was nearby and the sea was within easy reach and also they were expert craftsmen who worked in gold silver and ivory and were skilled in making pottery jewelry and toys we have an idea through the objects found from the ruins that the people especially the ruling class wore long and loose robes one great mystery about the indus valley is that no one exactly knows how and why the civilization ended without any actual traces or without merging into another civilization though there are various theories given by historians as to how the civilization might have ended according to some the people were raided from the north or maybe destroyed by some massive earthquake or any other natural calamity 
some disease might have wiped them out or they might have merged into other civilization. The people might have moved to some other nearby lands due to some climatic change. We can know more about this civilization if the language experts are able to decipher the mysterious language written on the seals found from the ruins of Moinchudaru. The interesting objects found from the ruins of Moinchudaru are put on exhibition in a museum nearby the heritage site. These objects include a famous metal statue of a dancing girl, some broken pieces of pots and other earthenware, some handcrafted toys, some metal tools which show that the age of iron was not discovered yet and that the probable age of Moinjadaro is around 4500 to 5000 years. And there is no evidence of weapons and no drawings of battle scenes or such were found which indicate that it might have been a peaceful civilization. And some seals having mysterious writings and a symbol of a head of a bull which the people revered and which is the best find from the ruins of Moinjudaro. So let's have a review of today's lecture. In this video we learnt about the ancient Indus Valley civilization and about the discovery of Moinjudaro and the lifestyle and culture of the people of Moinjudaro and how this civilization might have ended and also about some objects found from the ruins of Moinjodaro. Home assignment time students, now you have to complete the given activities that you can see on your screen where in activity number one you have to complete the reference to the context. Read the line carefully and then attempt the given questions in two to three sentences each. And in activity number two, you have to write a short note of about 18 to 20 lines on Moinjudaro. Now this is it for this video lesson. Thanks for watching.